Welcome back to Out Loud with Steve and Mal. In our We Cornered a Celebrity segment, we have brought on Julie Peasgood. You're going to recognize her from all of her TV shows, which we're going to talk about. That includes Brookside, where she played Fran Pearson. Ooh, Joe <laughs> Stedman in Emmerdale. What? And Jackie Hudson in Holly Oaks. Let's welcome Julie to the show. Julie, welcome to Out Loud. Hello, Steve and Mal. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you for doing your diligent research. Well, oh, yeah, really? I Googled <laughs> you right there. That's a lot of research. And so <laughs> now we raise a glass to you. You know, we were talking about gin and tonic before we even started. So that alone makes me love you more already. <laughs> <laughs> and and I agree. I have to say, I listen to, to to some of your shows, and there's a lot of what you say, Steve, um, that I agree with. I'm, I'm on your side. Some obviously, Mal, she's a dear, dear friend. Don't look that shocked. <laughs> Don't look at that tone of lipstick. No, you say something. Don't you love? <laughs> He's naughty. I'll give you that. He's, He's naughty. naughty. He needs to go on the naughty step more often, and he doesn't. Yeah. He's not very disciplined. No, no. Today, He's got Great. two of us to discipline him. So be be warned. But clearly, <laughs> naughty and right. She just said it, naughty and right. So right there, Mal, I <laughs> win again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I, I thought I'd bring Julie up. This is going to be great. And uh, that's it. I, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mal. I'm just telling it like I heard it. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I need to ask is something that I saw on uh, one of your feeds. You went on, you're a very posh lady, very, you know, very English, probably very well educated. And you go on wipe out. What were you thinking? Do you know what I was thinking? Um, I was in the Victoria and Albert Museum and I could hardly hear my agent when she called and she said the name of the show. And there's a show over here where you dress up in sort of a complete silver suit. You look like a sort of chicken that's going to be oven roasted. It's not a good look. But all you have to do is, is sort of jump through a hole into a swimming pool. It's easy. You raise money for charity. And I thought it was that show. So I'm hardly hearing her. And with all these hordes of people, but it was a David Bowie exhibition. It was brilliant. And I said, yeah, sure, I'll do that. It's fits for charity. Why not? Then I get the contract. Then I find that there's no health and safety out in, in Brazil. And, you know, <laughs> that, that it's certain things say you could die from doing this. And I'm thinking, <laughs> am I mad? I'm also a stranger to the gym. So the fact that I was the slowest ever celebrity is um, is not surprising. <laughs> It's something to be proud of because Mal and I were going to do something like Wipeout, which is uh -huh. wasn't that one of the name of the shows we were going to call instead of Out Loud, like Wipeout. Wasn't that one of the names? Mal? I've got a clue what you're talking about. I think you dreamt it. <laughs> I dream of a lot of things. But there you go. So you, so you go from Wipeout. Is there a show that you would like to do now? I know there's a lot of, uh, I don't know. Do you guys have Survivor out there? Like you, you live in the jungle or anything like that? Would I'm you a celebrity. Something like that? I'm a celebrity. Yes, I'm a celebrity always fascinates me because I have eaten some pretty weird things in, in my time. So um, I have actually eaten testicles. So that wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, ow, <laughs> ow. Bulls testicles, no, Steve. No. Testicles. They're <laughs> disgusting. They kind of lag your mouth. They stay in your mouth for about three days. Julie, um, was it a date? Why? Why did you eat them? I was on the Alan Titchmarsh show and they asked me to, and I'm kind of a pushover. Uh, <laughs> Somebody says, you know, I've always been like that. Testicles. Yeah. Testicles, why not? Everything. Why not? New wow. um, but there is a show called Would I Lie to You? And I would really like to go on, on that because um, it's fun. That's all. But yeah, some of the, those big shows, I wouldn't fancy. Um, I don't think Big Brother's still going. Is Big Brother still happening now? I don't think it is at the moment. I think it's so fair, but the, you'd be great on I'm a Celebrity. They need you in the jungle, Julie. I would I would enjoy it. I'd, yeah, I'd love the fact. Well, my daughter, Kate, just would love the fact that they put you up in that incredible hotel out there. And she Absolutely. Could... So Kate gets a good holiday and mum goes in the jungle. Exactly. <laughs> Why are you kind of jumping out of the helicopter or um, kind of Huge. doing the fires and things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she... I'm really scared of heights, but I'm also somebody who tends again and again to uh, kind of go out of my comfort zone. I, I suppose I have a need to do that. Do either of you do that? I do. I've <laughs> oh. been out of planes. I've done all that. And the worst that Mal has done is, uh, you know, four-star hotel. That's what I heard. 
That's her. That's roughing oh, it for her. Too, you're no. too cool. <laughs> it was the fourth of July when Steve said, "Will you free fall on this show?" and and there was no plan and going live to the whole of America last year. So I did make a jump, and we're still here. So, oh my gosh, you're brave! I'm wow. very brave. Yeah, and Not Steve very Smith. smart. Or maybe she wasn't very smart. She's very like, stupid. I will trust you. And I'm like, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of admiration. Now, I like the idea. Now, we still have Big Brother here. So maybe we can have an outlawed Big Brother. Could the two of you be in Big Brother? Would you go after each other? I mean, it's obvious that you know each other. I adore her. Why would I go after her? Go on. We'd look out for each other. We'd be the, the, the kind of, yeah, power girls in the house. We'd go on yeah. house. We'd have yeah. house. I know Mal would try to get me out of the shell right away. But Julie, you I and I, we just connected. Yeah. We just connected. Yeah, yeah, I think we'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you know, Steve, when Mal and I first met, we connected kind of really instantly. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it was, I wouldn't uh, say you, not first, like, you, you might get the auntie. wrong idea, but, you know. Yeah, yeah I wish you were auntie. You're yeah, naughty. Auntie. so I've claimed her as my auntie for life now. She can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> auntie Pam. Auntie, yeah, there you go. A naughty aunt. Oh, the male listeners are going, oh, let me tune in. Let me <laughs> yeah. Tune in. yeah, I always seem to play floozies. I played a floozy in Brookside and a floozy in Emmerdale. And a floozy in, in Hollyoaks. Yeah, I seem to wow. get caught as, as, you know. So, North Julie, North. I was thinking earlier, you've done all these amazing roles in soap. If you could have casted yourself in any role that you have seen other actors or actresses in, what would it be? I, I wouldn't be a particular, well, yeah, I mean, the, the roles that I most, uh, that I love have been, you know, had had actors who were really, really good at their stuff. So I wouldn't, yeah. they've been definitive in them. But if well, I could choose a role, it would be um, somebody very dark, somebody very evil. You well, get a lot of bad press, especially in a soap, um, from doing things like that. You know, like the guy who buried, um, you know, his his um, wife under the um, patio in Brookside. Yeah. You know, yeah. that, that got a lot, he, he didn't, he got a lot of flack. But yeah. because I smile a lot, because I've got so many teeth, and because you know people think I'm bright and jolly, I think it would be really good to play. They wouldn't think it's you that actually used the shovel and put the body under the patio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at Steve's face; he's thinking, "I'm a bit concerned about these two. They're planning." They are, and Mal has very big teeth too. So right there, that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> he's got big teeth, Julie. He's really rude, and I haven't been to Turkey, so. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't got big teeth. She's just got nice teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're all fake. We know He's they're all fake. Mean. He says they're fake teeth. I've had loads of DMs, people asking where I got my teeth from. They're like, they're mine. They're my teeth. Kidding. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know. Nice. <laughs> He's you know, just she... mean to me. So mean. Right. It's like my, my, my kind of big brother. <laughs> now, I spent a little time on a soap opera as well. So maybe you and I could have a few scenes together. That would be good. That would Susie be nice. And the doctor. I could play a doctor. Dr. Steve. You know, actually, I could see you as a doctor. You really do. You really could be a doctor. In fact, you've almost got, I know it's not your stethoscope around your neck. It's your, your earphones. But <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> Dream on. And then, of course, we cannot cast Mal as the nurse. We can't have any of that. Okay. But I'm here. I could um, be the nurse. Um, I'm fine. You'd no. be the hospital administrator who walks around yeah, in sky high. I'd be writing down all of the details, my my yeah. clothes, things. I'd be good. So I'd be no, a good. Julie nurse. just said you would be the administrator. You cannot be our nurse. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. so I've just been downcasted. Oh, oh you've been upgraded. You've been oh, upgraded. Really? You run. You run the hospital. Oh yeah, yeah. power. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Right, I'm just firing the doctor, Doctor Steve. You've not done a good enough job with 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 Nurse Julie today. Yeah, no, I love it. The floozy and the doctor. I love it on the BBC two or whatever channel that is. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm thinking? I should have you two on the, the cruises that I go on. Because I, I run um I run supercraft cruises, Steve. Mm -hmm. You might not know. I know Mom knows, but I take groups of makers, groups of craft experts around the world on cruise ships, giving high-end workshops. So they do things like they teach workshops in things like stained glass, lino printing, mosaics, aluminium wow. art. And it's really, really, it seems to go down really, really well. But you two could come on as an act. 
We could. I could see me and Steve making a mosaic. It would be kind of (laughs) X-rated. Excellent. (laughs) I I can barely color. And you're going to ask me to do crafts? Come on. You know, I, wondered, I thought if I if I talk about my super crafts, my super craft cruises, I, and I ask Steve, does he craft? I just kind of knew what the answer would be. <laughs> He's very good at craft and he likes kind of gluing things and stuff, especially when we have the production meetings. So, yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's very good. good. With power oh. tools. Can I use power tools on the crafts? No, darling. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No now, power tools. No. Now stop laughing. Okay. I'm stop so, laughing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. good at all this. It's but when you come onto the no, ship, I'm maybe a little so tiny. Much. Actually, my stained glass lady does use, well, she uses soldering irons. Maybe I could just allow you a very, very small tool, so to speak. Like a tiny <laughs> wait a, tool. Wait a second. That it's sounds very tool. sexual, ladies. <laughs> that sounds very sexual. I heard it. Is you know, <laughs> Never, never give the little pinky in that. No man wants to hear that. No man. Sorry. Okay. So sorry. Just a small tool, just so we know. Yeah, it's <laughs> safe to cruise. Put that tool it's back, Mal. Put that back, okay? It's so not about the size. It really it's isn't. <clears throat> so what's the biggest craft that you've made? I mean, you're talking about these super cruises. So you're probably full on gin, and we know Mal will want it that, or champers. Champers. We have champers, me and Julie, when we go out. Yeah, yeah, we do. Definitely. I don't quite understand biggest, biggest craft. You mean like, because we keep it quite small, only simply because the passengers make stuff and they have to transport it home. Oh, that's true. I'm yeah. just laughing because I think Steve thinks you make like a spaceship out of foil or something. Or whatever. Oh my gosh, no. No, no, no. This on this, I'm going on my 92nd cruise in a few oh. days time. I know, but no. it's not all being craft. No, I used to give lectures on cruise ships and then I filmed on them and then I, um, oh. now I also write about them. I've been a, a contributing editor for a cruise magazine here um for 12 years so I write about them as well but um on this one I'm teaching so I'm teaching how to turn a humble sock into a teddy bear I'm teaching you how to decoupage oyster and scallop shells to make beautiful little trinket dishes I should have brought some samples never mind um I'm teaching you how to make um scissor cases I'm do- yeah I'm doing yeah a lot I'm teaching you lovely easter wreaths you'd like easter wreaths Oh, I'd like that. I'm going to get Steve socks now that he leaves around the production office and we can make lots Do. of them. Yes, wash lonely, them. lonely socks that are found in the washing machine on their own. There is oh. always one. That could become your... I love that upcycle. That's okay. such a great idea. Oh, I'm going to go... Like- I was thinking of sock puppets, so I don't know where I was going. They are. Sock teddies are like sock puppets. People have different names. But um, this, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That'd be be a lot of fun. So as you know, it's all about relationships with Out Loud. If you've listened to some of that, so I want to make sure that we talk about this. There's a thing called the three date rule. Okay. Yeah. The men thinking about how many dates do I need before... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little twist on it because it's always the guys that are on my side, regardless of what Mal thinks. Guys think like that. So let me switch it up with you. And Mal and I were talking about beforehand. So for women, generally speaking, how many days does it take for a woman to put on seductive lingerie because obviously there's some type of expectation with that lingerie how many dates does that take is it one is it three or is it 47 like mal believes say that about lingerie she just said one she said one. one It's 10 minutes. I mean, not. I wouldn't go dressed necessarily in all the gear on the first one. But if you're saying to me, how do I, you know, what do I feel? Is it going to work? It, it's it's 10 to 15 minutes. It's one date. I'll yeah. know instantly. Yeah. I agree yeah. with the lingerie. I'm talking about the full shaboodle, what he was going on yeah. about after date three. Yeah. Come on, yeah. be fair. No. So if I connected, if I did connect with, with, with somebody and really felt there was a spark, then I'd yeah. probably wear the gear on the second day. Sorry. I tell you, I was okay. Get in there, Julie. <laughs> I win again, Mal. I you know. Win yeah. on my side. I'm not worthy. Yeah. I'm not worthy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, not that I go on dates. I'm really happily married. Patrick and I are going to have our silver wedding anniversary this year. So it's not, so it's theoretical, but I do think you know. I just think you know, you know, by, you know, we, we, we're all very visual, whether we, it, you know, looks aren't, of course, looks aren't the first thing. Actually, for me, if it's a guy who makes me laugh, that's the biggest um attraction yeah. of all but it's looks it's it's how somebody um uh, smells as well you know it's it's their scent their fragrance and you get all that pretty quickly and i yeah. think you know i think you know i no, mean i, I wouldn't give guy a second chance if it was if it was like borderline i'd give him a second chance depends where we ate <laughs> what depends on where we ate and, and if he knew his wine yeah because steve was saying that coffee <laughs> is a day to be honest do you think coffee is a date, Julie? Do I think who's a date? Is, is coffee classed a date? Yeah, coffee can be classed a date. Afternoon tea can be classed a date. Walk in the park. I mean, I was joking. I mean, I do love eating out. Yeah. I mean, if a guy says, you know, uh, I'm going to take you to Le Gavroche, best restaurant here. And, you know, then I will think, hmm, now nice. he's losing the game. That bodes well. But equally, if they said, meet me for coffee and a really nice walk by the seaside, I'd think, yeah, that sounds good. What, what about McDonald's and a Happy Meal? Is that the same option or was that a no? Gosh, is that the time? I really must be going. <laughs> You're out, Steve. It's not going to work for you. So no on every level. <laughs> or Dunkin' Donuts, because that's Steve's option. So, yeah, there you go. No, Steve, please. <laughs> Well, I like Dunkin' and a donut. We could split a donut or long time or something like that. But my point was being where she would disagree with that. I think a coffee, you know, is is would be a date. I would consider that a date. Yeah, but not yeah. McDonald's, not Dunkin' Donuts, which no, is where no. we're going to take yeah. them. Well, that's, be donuts. that's because Mal won't uh, won't share her chips. So I think that's why McDonald doesn't work. I only share things with Julie because she's she's a dear friend. So there you go. <laughs> We share champagne, don't we, Julie? There we yeah, go. Yeah, we do. But I want to know how many McDonald's have you and Steve, have you, Mal, and, and you, Steve, shared together for you to know she won't share a, her shit, her, her chips? <laughs> I never share any of my chips or any of my food with anyone. No. But she told me that up front. Yeah. She's like, yeah. no, that's not what we're yeah. going to do. He's going to take me to a posh restaurant the whole works. So I was like, wow. Yeah, if I'm in the production meeting with everyone, I have my own food. Nobody touches my plate or they get a fork in the back of their hands. So, yeah, I'm very protective really? over my food. Yeah, I'm a bit mean like that. See, that's no, the mean I didn't know this about you. Maybe it's because yeah. I've never tried to steal your food. You know, <laughs> it's something you only find out about somebody if you actually... <laughs> yeah, don't steal my alcohol. Oh, that's bad. Hey, I won't. <laughs> See, what we found out here is that I'm forever romantic. I'm sharing things. And Mal is selfish. That's essentially what it yeah, is. Selfish, and Julia is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Julie, this has been a lot of fun. Where can everybody follow you and get the latest information on what you're doing oh, and working on? Thank you. www.supercraftcruises.com or just go to supercraftcruises.com. My own website is being updated, so that's not good, but supercraftcruises.com or you can follow me on Insta at Julie Peasgood, which would be lovely, or Twitter. Are you really good with social media? No, terrible. <laughs> there was that question. I just, <laughs> but I just thought I'd better say that because I'd love more followers. She's stratospheric. Started like yesterday and has got eighteen thousand followers. Or oh getting there. But the funny thing was, do you remember when I had two followers and I called you and I said, "How do I do this?" Yeah, yeah, and I followed you. Wasn't I your first follower? Loyalty. You my first follower. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. I'd love more followers. Every day I look and think, oh, there's three more or one more or two less. Yeah. Oh, follow followers. Julie, everyone. Follow Julie. <laughs> we will get this all over social media, and I think we need to have you back. We have some, I have some interesting ideas that I think you would be a lot of fun to do for us. And with That would be good. For, I would love that. Yes, please. Yes. And with me coming to London, because I'm going on tour, so uh, so you're aware, Katie wants to meet me. Okay, the princess. She wants to meet me. So I'm just- Is he serious? Is he serious? I th in his dreams again, Julie. He's a bit delusional, but we go with, just say, yeah, that's great, Steve. You know, no, we'll see you, you need to know about me, Steve. I believe everything. So if you tell me, I really <laughs> do. <laughs> 
We need to send her dinner with Katie next week. Yeah. So we'll hear all about it on the next show. I need to post to her my uh, my video of me screaming for Katie and then the crowd, you know, saying, yes. Yeah, Outside mm-hmm. Buckingham Palace. Yeah. He nearly got arrested, but uh, it, it was fine. We managed to get. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for joining the show. And we will have you back. I think we need to keep having you come back. <laughs> thank you, Steve. Thank you, Mal. Don't let him bully you. <laughs> I was. And you're so mean. I know. It's because he's American. It's fine. Us Brit girls mean. need to stay together. But he is funny. He is yeah. funny. <laughs> Bully's that. mean. I don't get big. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Take care. Bye. Lots of love. <laughs>